Okay, right, so I was gonna do that, but funny story. So check this out, right? So I suspend the chapter, go back to the title screen, and all my save data is gone. And when I <laughs> try to start a new game, it doesn't seem like it's saving at all. I, I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm just really glad I saved data before I decided to do that. Holy shit. Dodged a bullet there. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to take a look at the emulator, I guess. Never seen anything like that, though. I'm not going to lie. So even if I could somehow work out a way to get all the villagers, I, <laughs> I don't have my save data anymore, apparently. So it's pretty much not worth talking about. So in that sense, fuck the Heroes Crest, I guess. Are we recording? We are. We are. Okay. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. Lego. Okay, what's poppin', guys? It's actually been about 24 hours or so, and I wanted to take a look at this problem, see if I could figure anything out, because I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna lie to you guys. I was thinking about ways I could unfuck this fucked situation with this chapter. Not just in terms of the save data, but in terms of actually getting all the villages, and I don't think it would have been that hard in sec er, well, upon reflection, I guess. All I really would have had to do was just feed Ray a few more of the kills, and just have him push a bit harder. The only real reason I took it this slow is because I wanted to spread out EXP a little bit better, and for whatever reason, I didn't remember that the bandits came this early. Although, in hindsight, yeah, that, that does seem familiar. I do remember the villages being notoriously hard to save in this chapter, and I should have probably prepared for that a little bit better, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get the chance to. Fortunately, I do have the save state <laughs> from when I was going to take a look and go plan that out. Essentially, I could have... Well, there was a few things I was thinking I could do, because I guess I'm a nerd. I, I don't guess I'm a nerd. I am a nerd, and I wear that badge proudly, thank you very much. But I was thinking about this uh, earlier today, like I was saying, and all I really had to do was either draw this cluster of units to this side while I bust through over this wall and I could get to the villages that way and I'd probably be even able to bypass them because they wouldn't be able to get from over here to back over here and yada 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 you, I, I hope that makes sense I'd be basically able to sneak right by him and kill this bandit which is all I would need to do and shoot I lost my train of thought I guess what I'm trying to get at though is it wouldn't have been as bad as I was thinking but unfortunately, we don't have that choice. We have to live here in the moment, and it looks like right now, this village is fucked. <laughs> and this one's shortly after. So, what was I doing exactly with this turn? This guy is a non-issue, essentially. He has a longbow. And even if he didn't, I can easily surround him. Let's do some quick math. So this guy's level 14. I don't think so I'll be able to actually gain a full 50 experience there. She might. I don't think so, though. And not to mention I'm holding on to Ganzi with this dude. What I'm really fearing here is that the kid is going to spawn and just die. I'm surprised she's not here yet. She's going to spawn any second now. And if she could be something really cool like a paladin or something, that'd be awesome. That'd be just great. That'd make my day. Uh, can I draw this archer? I can't get in range, man. I just can't get in range today. Juno will get murked. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Not even... <laughs> that's not even up for contention. Alright, so I can just murder this guy. Between... Who do I want to do it with, though? That's the question. I just have so many choices. It's like a smorgasbord of options here. I should heal up Ray. Because he's absolutely mandatory on the front lines at this point. Do I even need to finish this guy? I should finish this guy. It would be a better option to do so. Can I do it with... I can probably do it with Dick. And that would be better. No? And Lillian is too far. The good thing is I can still potentially get this Orion's Bolt. I don't think this is... Oh, it tells you. Okay, so these guys have a different title, actually. They're just, they're just called Archer. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Whereas these guys are Etruria. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Basically, in order to get the Orion's Bolt, I just need to talk to Douglas with... It would be Juno. Juno needs to talk to Douglas. Uh, actually, hey, look at that. 
I might. Yeah, let's do that. And like so, and we are actually skirting danger here. Hopefully Douglas runs up realizing that Juno is an archer. And also hopefully <laughs> the Echidna does not spawn right here, right now. That'd be great. I can just kill this guy pretty easily with Tade. Well, can I? Can I? Probably not. Push forward a little bit more here. Can this guy reach so I can't quite oh, that's unfortunate that's a bummer I'm gonna drop right there it's a safe zone we're, we're doing okay we're doing okay yes actually let's do that because if I can hit at least one time that it's an easy pick it's for Sophia there we are Sorry about that, taking a drink. You already know I have coffee. Yeah, I could even use the rapier. Don't really... Why not? You know what? Haven't had a really good opportunity to do this just yet. I am... Oh, I do get a level up. Nice, nice. I'm really bummed about losing the save data, though. HP skill... Look. I mean, you're gonna have to do better than that, girl. Those bases are nice, but... They're only going to get you so far. Who are we holding here? Nime, who should have been in this a long time ago. Again, I kind of mismanaged this a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit, but... We still in this. We still in this. As far as I'm concerned. So Ray has to kill this guy, though. That's the only thing that really didn't go my way this turn. Although... How many single-digit crits has this man got in the last few chapters? Like, five? Five crits below 5% in two chapters? That's insane. Does it make any difference? I don't want to use a light bread, though, is the thing. I don't really see what else I'm going to do, though. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Tate's really bad. You know? It's just... She's let me down one too many times. Okay, and we can just... Yeah, my entire army's over here. And there's Lalum. Or not, well, shit. <laughs> I see the dancers, but I assume Lalum. I have no idea who it is. In fact, if there's one person it is, it's not Lalum. He's already recruited her. So this part over here worked out flawlessly. And as I say, I don't really foresee myself being able to preserve uh, in terms of these... Pegasi. Who is it? It's Walt. <laughs> this is the most useful Walt has ever been. So his growths are basically irrelevant. I don't know. I may include them. Probably not. I don't even feel like looking them up, to be honest, because essentially it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he has a base 17 speed and a base 13 luck. Any other stat doesn't really matter. I guess defensively he could have some room to grow, but it doesn't really matter. He comes with a slim lance and a javelin. I suppose because it was originally Tate, right? So, I guess that makes sense. What I'm going to do here is we're going to talk to Douglas. Oh, that's that's a trip, man. <laughs> and then, yes, all these archers turn green. The problem here is that... Actually, no, there's no problem. There's no problem at all because these guys are all cracked out as well. The only real issue here... What's this guy doing? Did he not move? Did this bandit not move? That's phenomenal. Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Seems like we're actually in a pretty good position here. Uh, the biggest fear is that people would spawn here and just murder me in the next turn. Dick, dick, dick. Can he handle all of these guys? Probably. Uh, they lose three speed and... Why are Pegasus Knights still really bad? I guess they're level 6. That's probably why. Okay, fair enough. And unfortunately, I say we're not going to get the Elysian Web, but... Mm, there's only so much you can do. And I don't really feel that bad. If they're going to be dumb enough to try and pick a one-on-one -on -one fight with Dick, then I mean, really? There's only so much you could do, you know? So how are we going to go about this? 
Do they have javelins, by the way? Javelin, javelin. Steel lance, steel lance. So the steel lances are actually going to get doubled. All right? Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to get doubled. Dick has 10 speed, surely. Yeah, he has 12. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What's their... These guys have got about 9 speed. So they don't get doubled. Unless they choose to use a javelin, then they get doubled. Doesn't really matter, I guess. So, I gotta rescue Ellen, I think. That's the only thing I have to keep in mind here. And in fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what we can do. Okay, top my drink off real quick. You guys know the drill by now, I'm sure. Now, all I have to really do, uh, to continue whatever I was saying, is I have to somehow stop well, I have to block off this choke point, essentially, right? So I'm pretty sure that a kid either spawns this turn or next turn. So if she doesn't spawn immediately upon ending my phase, I am in the clear. But if she does, she's going to be bringing a few units with her, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't want them to be... Excuse me. I don't want them to be able to run up this little alleyway and just murder me. That would be bad. We try to avoid that generally, especially considering I've just realized I can't actually restart if something goes wrong. So we're going to have to try to avoid that a little bit more than I have been, I guess. Yeah, I've been playing a little bit recklessly, all things considered. So how am I dealing with this guy? Can't really can't really afford a brave bow. Not only is 20 strength somehow not enough in this day and age, uh, I get doubled and murdered in return, so let's, let's try to avoid that, I think. Uh, Tate not doing anything. What else is new? I think I'm going to move her over here so she can be rescued eventually by Dorothy. Now uh, maybe... So it's just occurred to me I can probably have Klein recruit roll now that I'm thinking about it. I was <laughs> actually originally having, uh, well, I was planning to have Douglas hoof it all the way over here and talk to him, but no, no, no. Klein should be able to do it. I do believe that's our replacement for Thani. Now, the thing is, I cannot for the life of me remember if talking to... Well, let me put this in terms of the vanilla. I cannot remember if talking to Walt or to Tate with Thani will actually turn these guys green. It might just be Klein. Klein might be the only one. Or I could have had that backwards. I honestly do not remember. But we're going to find out right here, not right now. I'm going to find this out today. How am I killing this guy? This guy is actually a huge problem, though. I'm not going to lie. Thing is... The thing is, though... Well... We should be okay. Right? I mean, right? <laughs> Maybe? I have to go in with Ray. Yeah, I can go in with Ray and then... I can use Rescuing. It's probably the most OP mechanic in all of Fire Emblem history. I can use that and I can put him into this choke point down here. I think that's what we're going to go for. So do like, yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Uh, probably the steel or the iron sword rather to maximize evasion. I need like one of those. And now this guy is weak enough that I'm kind of feeling confident in just having Lilina take him out. Sixty-nine percent of the time, anyways. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. Now all I really have to do, well, let's be reasonable, because again, I, I really, what, what turn is it? Turn nine. Turn eight, rather. And these guys just showed up, and I swear Echidna shows up right after, so I probably don't want to be fucking around this house with anybody who's not capable of at least taking a hit or two. Where can this guy go? He can actually target that village, so I don't want to stand there. I'm just kind of th trying to think where I can put my frail units. Uh, we can send Cecilia over this way. She can pick up Tate. I just don't see any real need to have her on the front lines at this point. Shuffling around units is nice, but it's not particularly necessary. I just need to be able to push through towards this house. Hopefully rescue a kid. Uh, for all I know, <laughs> they could be like a cleric or something. And die immediately. So it's hard to say. It's hard to say. But I should be alright, I think. Mm, squishies can go probably about here. 
ish. Thing is, I want I want Nime towards the front, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to push too hard. You know what I mean? Uh, I wish there was a danger zone feature in this game. I really do. I'm definitely missing that. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, heal up real quick with Lareen. Pretty standard stuff. She's actually getting some nice staffy. Oh no, no, she's not. No, she's not. <laughs> I feel like I've healed a lot more than that. Maybe Team the Staff just gives really poor amounts of EXP or something. I don't... No, 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 Because every, everything is 1 EXP in this game. I guess it just takes forever. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, let's do something like that. Okay, so here's these guys. Come out. Come out with your hands up. Oh my lord, a sword master. Yo. It's popping. Okay, okay. Miss. It's Lou. Whoa, dude, you can't be taking hits like that. <laughs> what? No. What? You're kidding. Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> well, there's Lou, ladies and gentlemen. I can't I can't believe that. What the hell happened? What? What are these RNGs? How are you gonna hit me at 17 and ah? Uh, I should have had Dick not equip a, a hand axe. That was a miscalculation on my part. Can we talk about how I get hit at 17%? Can we just go over that real quick? This game is lame. This game is really. And Lou just came in and just died like that without doing anything. Oh my. Really would have liked that Swordmaster game. That's where this game is determined to drive me insane. They're just like, no, you gotta use Tate. You gotta use Tate, man. It's calling your name. Thankfully for me, these archers did not choose to commit suicide. So at the very least, I still have a chance to get my hands on a nice little Orion's bolt there. Uh, this is in theory a good idea. Because if I can do that, then I can trade over the Brave Lance decline, and he can maybe possibly take on this guy. Defense of 10, though. Hmm. So I'd only really be doing 26, so no. I wouldn't do enough. What else is new, though? I kind of like how Wolf's just choosing to bum rush me here, as if <laughs> these weapons are going to do anything. You're not Azura. You can't use spears, dude. Sorry. Maybe he's just cosplaying. I kind of want to get Klein over here. Yeah... Because if I can get a dancer in the front lines, that'd be just fantastic. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting that Elysian web, so uh, it's pretty much open season on Pegasi, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking that should be okay. This guy needs to die, and so does this other one. This is this is absurd. So me making pretty comfortably handle this guy, right? No, how am I doing this? Because I really... Can I rescue the greenies? I can. But then I would still have to kill two fucking... No way, dude. No way, it's not even possible, is it? Is it possible? Can I do this? I don't think this is possible. <laughs> I actually don't. Okay, let's, let's start simple. Sophia does a ton of damage. She does so much damage. She does so much damage. Yeah, okay, so I can do that. I can kill this guy with Sophia plus Gonzalez, believe it or not. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my, Sophia kicking all kinds of ass. This is crazy. This is a beautiful sight. And as I say, we're just gonna throw Gonzalez at him and that's a perfectly calculated kill. 64% of the time. Dude, Gonzalez is purple too. What the fuck is going on? One of you guys was making fun of me because I was talking all this good about purple dudes, but uh, I'd just ask you to consider this real quick. All the best units in Fire Emblem are, in fact, purple. And um, I know I was just spitballing that last time, but I put more thought into this, and it's true. Besides the one I mentioned, you got yourself uh, Pent. Pent's a good example. 
little known unit you might have heard of him. a Marcus Marcus the Lord best unit in Fire Emblem history yeah also purple coincidence hell no in fact that's probably why my save data got deleted they knew I was onto something there it's a conspiracy how am I dealing with this guy though that's the real question Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, 41 damage. Calm yourself, Lilina. Yeah, we're just gonna mop them all up. I don't think that there's a damn thing I can do, actually. <laughs> uh, to save all these archers, that is. I just, it's not conceivable. Unless I can kill this guy right here right now, then I might be able to. That's really my only shot. Is to hit do 61s. I really want to get it though, because oh, if I can get this Orion's Bowl, you know? Is there anything I can really do about that? If I do that, I can move Ray into the fray. I think maybe it's possible. Maybe. And then I use I use the term very loosely. But I think that's my that's where my starting place. Oh shoot! Oh, and we get it. Nice. I should have turned on his animations though. I should have definitely done that. I'm gonna do that right now. I feel like Douglas is gonna be useful for this chapter at the very least. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that actually opens me up a little bit, doesn't it? Well, that's not happening. No sir, no how. This guy will not die to this archer. So actually, if I can just kill this little fighter guy, we should be in business. Maybe, possibly. I'm still salty about Ray. <laughs> or not Ray, about Lou. What the hell was that? I would have loved to have Ray, the hero, and Lou, the swordmaster, support the two, watch everything die. That would have been a good time. But no. To be fair, though, he got murdered by Axemen. They don't have sword reavers, do they? No. No. He got murdered by two hand axe users. How did that happen? Maybe he had a lance reaver. Maybe he had a lance reaver sitting here trying to justify this to myself how the f how am i killing this guy though that's what i'm really worried about because i can possibly finish this dude off maybe well the combination of lilina plus ray can kill him and then nime can kill this guy thing is that these pegasus knights then become a problem i think actually no i lied because then clarine can kill this guy and then yet can kill this guy and it should be a good time for everybody let's do just that there's no there's no way they can kill no no no. Even Clarine has at least two defense. Barely, but she does. Let's go about it. Like so. Uh what's my hit rate though? It's not very good. It's not very good at all, actually. Yeah, it's worth busting out the Ray Bell for. I just need one hit. Yeah, I just need one hit. Let's go in with Ray and follow up with Lelena. I'm so curious what what went wrong. Like, how do you lose to an Axeman as a Swordmaster? <laughs> I have the worst Swordmasters of all time. Ooh, and nice. We get a level up to Lona here. Speed, 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 speed. Luck! Luck! What is this? Is this an amateur hour? What are you doing? Ooh, 13 speed to my... Oh, I made a grave mistake. <laughs> I made a grave error. If I kill this guy, I don't think I can either. Uh-oh. That's really bad. Huh. How about that? How about that? Do I lose? Fucking green units in my way too. Do I lose? Do I just lose? No. Well, it would seem that I do. <laughs> do I rescue this guy? Hell no. Why would I be able to? Okay, 
guys. I mean, slowly but surely, I think I'm <laughs> losing my goddamn mind here. Finish this guy. I don't see another option. So Nime does as Nime does. How about a level though? How about a good one? Luck def <laughs> Nime the tank. Good lord. Actually if I do this, haha, <laughs> yeah, what am I talking about? I'm totally fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, talk about a save. Talk about a save. Oh my lord. <laughs> the Archer Curse. <laughs> Amazing. Dorothy might actually be able to go 1v1 with these guys. Should I even try that? It's entertaining to be sure. No, 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 no. Let's not die. 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 I don't want to die. I don't like dying. It's generally something I try to avoid. Okay. Oh, my heart's racing. I, can't, I thought I was going to have to... I don't even know what I would have done, actually. I can't afford little enough to die here. There's no way. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> so I lose two villages, though. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't, I don't think I could have done anything. Oh, well. Can I hit this village up? I actually can hit up this first village and see what we get. I think I lost to speed wings, actually. Oh, no, no, it's this village. You. Okay, I actually thought it was this village over on the right-hand side, which would make more sense if you think about it, because it's the hardest to get. And, uh, I mean, I'm probably preaching to the choir, but uh, speed is obviously the most important stat in all of Fire Emblem, because it, it just does the most things, right? It allows you to deal more damage by doubling. It allows you to take less damage by not getting doubled or just not getting hit in general. It's just incredibly overpowered. Because think about it. One point of strength means you're doing one more damage. But at certain intervals, one point of speed will allow you to double your damage. And that's just crazy. Now, who's going to get these speed wings, though, I wonder? There's so many viable candidates. I mean, Ray is obviously overkill, so that's not, <laughs> that's not happening. I'm thinking most likely... One of Nime or Dick. Nime would be nice, but that 20, yeah, that 20 hit points is really starting to be shaky. Dick. No, uh, no, no. I shouldn't give it to Dick. He's not very long term. Tate has catch speed. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think on it, I guess. Lilina wouldn't be a bad choice. Lilina wouldn't be a bad choice at all. She doesn't have a very solid speed growth either, so she could probably get some good mileage out of that, I think. I'm going to move forward and heal. No more reinforcements. <laughs> what did I say, game? What's taking so long? Is the resistance force so powerful? I assume they're going to mention something about reinforcements, so I just want to kind of take a look at that. Hmm. Ties with the bandits? The f no, just, just Gonzalez, dude. He's a cool guy. You shouldn't make it such. Never judge a book by its cover. Okay. That's the lesson here, I believe. Eradicate them. No, 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 no. No. <sighs> Sigh. I don't remember what that village was. Nothing important, I hope. Tell me why Clarine is dealing the most damage against Pegasi. Can we go over that? I thought Pegasi were supposed to have good resistance. What are you doing, game? See, all these preconceived notions just come crashing down. As long as I don't get crit, which I don't, we are golden. I really just want these archers to get off the map before anything crazy happens. And yes, alright, I remembered something. 
Go me. Sister! That's not Klein. Get out of here. Oh, it did turn them green. <laughs> oh, but Tate turns green. Er, what? Oh, I goofed. I definitely goofed, but I can rescue her. Oh, well. Yeah, now I kind of have to stick around, though, because I'm afraid she's about to <laughs> think she can take on that archer or something. Wait, that's not good. So I'm going to move Tate over to the sign. Yeah, sorry about the whole murdering your entire unit thing, I guess. Should have thought that through a little bit more. I guess if I would have talked with Douglas, though, uh, I would have actually recruited her. Now, how does that make sense? How is it possible that she'll join she'll join our army for Douglas? Or, I guess, Klein. She'll join the army for Klein. But she won't join the army for her own sister. That's kind of fucked up, game. What kind of lessons are you trying to teach here? Isn't that like... <laughs> nah, I'm not, I'm not even going to go down that road. Not even going to go down that road. Not today. Maybe another day, but not today. Now, I think we're pretty much in the clear, right? I just have to sort of mob up these last few dudes. Kill that bandit. Hit up these villages right quick. And that's like... That's nothing, dude. That's nothing. Compared to what we've seen so far. Oh, I'm just kind of... Deciding how I'm gonna divide this up doesn't really matter. Might even be able to get a kill for Ray or a level rather. No, no, no let's let's have him push towards the boss because I want to cut off those reinforcements, if at all possible. Anyways, it's Brave Lands. I'm just so glad the game's giving me just oodles and oodles of Brave weapons. It's great. I think this will be my fourth Brave weapon so far. Just gonna go ahead and chip off a nice twenty-one. Douglas, purple general. It's not a coincidence. Now I can't unsee it either, and that's the worst part. <laughs> uh, how am I dealing with this asshole? Am I dealing with this asshole? I can just surround him. It doesn't matter at all. He cannot do a thing. He can literally do nothing to me. Uh, anybody that needs healing? Well, I can just... Yeah, yeah. We'll just do it like this. So, this chapter didn't go as well as I would have liked, but it could have ultimately been a lot worse, I feel. It could have just been straight up a game over. If Dorothy would have died, if Dorothy would have somehow died in this chapter, I don't know what I would have done, actually. I would have just, I probably would have had to stop this recording, because I, I mean, r really, what could I have done? Hopefully, I can actually save after this chapter. That's all I'm really thinking about right now. No, I probably want to hit up some of these shops. And... Hmm. I'm thinking about maybe hitting the arena. Not for anything serious, but just because I have to clean up anyways. And there's some... There's obviously a ton of villages I still have yet to grab. I don't see the harm in doing so. Maybe I can use it with Gonzalez. I mean, that's pretty risk-free. And if he dies, it doesn't really matter. What am I saying? I'm so afraid of the arena, dude. Because those growth rates are just going to be <laughs> through the roof. Okay, so... Enough digging around. I'm going to have Sophia try and take on this guy. Can we talk about how the cave somehow healed this man, by the way? He didn't have a vulnerary. Do caves have healing properties in this game? Why is this a fort? That is some lazy programming. Shame on you. Who needs healing here, by the way? Oh, Ray. Ray, Ray needs healing. He's a monster, but uh, no, even he, <laughs> even he needs to be healed every once in a while. Fair enough. Fair enough. HP, magic, skill, speed, luck. Oh my gosh, Alan's really good. Uh, actually, I think he might get a guiding wing on the stage. I may have blown my opportunity for that. I cannot remember for the life of me right now. <laughs> But it just, I'm, it just feels like maybe a thing that you could have gotten if you were good, unlike myself. Ah, uh, just shy, just shy. See, I can keep these guys surrounded forever. This archer will not go down here. So I think we're going to have to do that. 
Gonzi, I might as well just hit him or have him hit up the shops rather because he's not doing anything. He's no longer contributing. His only purpose here was to recruit Lou, but he got murdered before anything could happen with him. So yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn. And there's the pony patrol. Holy shit, that's a lot of ponies. That's a lot of ponies. What happened?